very basic self-watering container. Oh, okay. So you can see you, you water it at the, the bottom of it, and that's the, uh, oh, okay. the soil so chamber. Some, sure. So theoretically, you could have replanted your lettuce in one of these. Cool. These work pretty well, too, but they're very thin. So, so how far down are you going for the fertilizer that you're going to kind of dig out of here? I think I put the fertilizer about an inch underneath the soil. So you put the fertilizer uh, in a strip and then you put more soil on top of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So essentially what's happening is the, the fungus, all the, the microorganisms inside the soil, start to attack the fertilizer and break it down into nutrients which the plants can absorb. And uh, that's what happens in organic um, farming. Essentially, the, uh, the microorganisms are the ones that are responsible for making the nutrients available to the plants. Whereas in conventional farming, the chemical fertilizer is uh, ready to be absorbed by the plants. Okay, so you can see how the fertilizer strip is kind of a, a lighter material. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like sand. And there, there actually is fertilizer distributed deeper in the soil as a result of the strip being here for an entire season. So you've already got really rich, mature soil that will help you grow your next season of crops really well. And the, the potting mix that we have in here is good for about five seasons worth of planting Oh, okay. before you should remove it and start with fresh. But every season you'll find that you have to replace some soil because by removing plants like this sure. and removing the fertilizer strip you have to replace some soil. And uh, the idea behind the earth box is to replace like uh, uh, the, the formation of a crop row in the ground that's why the the actual soil is mounded oh, um, okay. like that to, to actually deflect water because you don't want the soil to become too overlogged with uh, with water when it rains. And I think we got most of it here. So uh, with the fertilizer, you're using about two cups of fertilizer per box. Hi, Monica. <laughs>